Computer tomography basically involves two distinct phases, the measurement of the projection data and the reconstruction of that data into a virtual model. Now in reality, the scanned object is of course always a three-dimensional object and its projection data is a series of two-dimensional projection images. However, explaining the mathematical principles behind tomography is much easier to do with images than with formulas. And drawing images is much easier to do for flat two-dimensional objects than it is for three-dimensional objects. So for the sake of clarity in what is to come, let's just flatten everything. The tomographic principles of course remain exactly the same, but instead of a series of two-dimensional projection images, each projection is now a one-dimensional vector. And if you put all of these projections next to each other, you can see all the projection data in one single image. This is called the sinogram. So computer tomography handles data from two different domains. On one side, there is the volume domain, which houses the scanned object and the reconstruction volumes. This is a spatial domain, typically with a Cartesian coordinate system. On the other side, the projection domain houses, as its name implies, projection data. Its data is typically defined on a coordinate system with projection direction on one axis and detector position on the others. The transition from one domain into the other domain is called a projection. From the volume domain to the projection domain, it is called a forward projection. And from the projection domain into the volume domain, this is called a back projection. Now in tomography, there are two major classes in which these projection operations can be defined the analytical approach and the algebraic approach. In the analytical approach, a forward projection is defined as a series of line integrals over the function in the volume domain. And for each projection and for each detector point, a line is then basically cast through the volume and at each point on that line, the contribution of the function is summed up. In the algebraic case, a forward projection is defined by a matrix vector multiplication, namely P equals W times V, where P is a vector representing all of the detectors on all of the projection angles, where V is a vector representing all of the pixels of the volume, and where the matrix W is called the projection matrix. And each value in this matrix, called a projection weight, defines the contribution of a specific pixel to a specific detector. And the exact method of how these values can be computed is the topic for another video. Now for the back projection operator, in the analytical case, the projection is basically smeared out back over the volume along its corresponding line integrals. And in the algebraic case, back projection is defined by the multiplication of the transposed projection matrix the same one that was used for the forward projection, with the vector of the projection data. These two projection operators, the forward and the back projection, really are the core of every tomographic reconstruction technique, so later modules will go into much, much more detail on them.